Hello everyone. My name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. There are hundreds of videos on YouTube explaining the difference between DevOps and SRA. In fact, I have also made a video on the channel on this channel explaining what is the difference between DevOps, SRE and platform engineering. Still, I can see at least one comment every day on the channel asking Abhishek, what is the real difference? Like how DevOps tasks are different from SRE tasks or how SRE activities are different from DevOps. To be very, very honest, I go through every single comment on the channel and initially I ignored these comments because I already made a video and I thought either it was not showing up in the suggestions or recommendations. Eventually they will find it. So I ignored these comments, but when more number of people kept asking the same question, I was confused. Interestingly, people who were working as DevOps engineers. So they were writing in the comments, Abhishek, I'm working as a DevOps engineer, but I'm doing some SRE tasks. And one of the SRE engineer mentioned, I still remember the comment, Abhishek, I watched your DevOps roadmap. And as an SRE engineer, I am doing most of the tasks in your DevOps roadmap. So what is the difference between me and a DevOps engineer? That made me very curious. And I thought, let me do a simple research. So I went to my LinkedIn network. I picked up few DevOps engineers few SRA engineers and ask them one question. What are your day to day activities? Of course, not everyone replied, but whoever replied, thankfully, they have explained their day to day activities and I got my answer. I did not do this in my company because in my company, there is a different DevOps team and different SRE team. So there is no point. There is no confusion in the company. So I was very clear about it. But when I went to LinkedIn network and asked people from different companies, what I have noticed is some companies, not every company, some companies don't have a clear understanding of DevOps and SRA. That is the organizations. They were hiring DevOps engineers and they were assigning them SRE tasks. One SRE engineer told me that their day-to-day -day activities is to write CICD pipelines for a Java application. So, I mean, I was very confused. I asked them like, okay, if you're doing that, what is the DevOps team doing in your company? They said they don't have a DevOps team. Similarly, some companies with DevOps team, they don't have SRE team. And because of this, they are expecting DevOps engineers to do SRE tasks and SRE engineers to do the DevOps tasks. And what these companies are doing is to add to it. They are also writing the job descriptions in the job descriptions of SRA engineers. They are writing the responsibility as CICD pipeline. So you can also go to LinkedIn. If you want to understand what I'm talking about, go to LinkedIn, look at SRA engineer job descriptions, and you will find some of the SRA job descriptions were about DevOps engineering role. So this is causing the confusion when people who are already working in the organizations as DevOps engineers, as SRE engineers, if they are confused, what about people who are learning college students, they would definitely have the confusion. And that confusion is not only from their seniors. I mean, people who are working, but job descriptions are also confusing them. So this is the main reason I have noticed. I have observed. Now, my suggestion to people who are preparing for DevOps roles or people who are preparing for SRE roles is that don't look at the designation, especially if it is a startup or if it is a company where in the job description, if they are writing wrong things like in the DevOps job description, if they are writing SRE related tasks, don't worry, just read through the job description. If you think you are good for that job description, apply for it give the interview and you can clearly explain them that I have prepared for DevOps position and 
while preparing for the devops position i have also learned these things so i think i'm fit for this particular position and when you clear the interview then you can think about like you know do you really want to join that company or not but my first suggestion would be give the interviews if you are 60 to 70 percentage confident on the job description apply for it so you cannot clear the confusion right of course i can make videos like this i can write a linkedin post explaining the difference between devops and sre but i cannot really change the cultural values of a company or the cultural understanding of a company so when you cannot change some things don't really bother about it don't really worry about it but make sure if you are preparing look at the job description not at the designation especially about devops and sre don't look at the designation focus more on the jd so this is the video for today i wanted to share this observation it is very important if you have also seen such things let me know in the comment section we can all share our experiences thank you so much for watching today's video next week monday not tomorrow but the next monday that is 7th of october we are starting observability zero to hero series it is going to be a seven day series and it is going to be super exciting we will cover observability right from zero covering the major open source tools so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't so that you can get the video notifications see you all in the next video take care bye bye